Okay, so this is problem 7.64 and in this problem we have a common source amplifier uh, with a transconductance of 2 milliamps per volts and a, a drain resistance of 10k right and a load resistance of 10k ohms so we need to determine so find the overall voltage gain GV here and GV here we know that is the relationship between the output voltage and the signal voltage okay and for this particular problem basically what we are interested in is that what's the relationship between so what's the overall voltage gain that's the relationship between this output voltage here with the input signal voltage right here okay so if we uh, describe the relationship so first thing is that we know that VGS here because there is no current flowing through the gate right this current here is zero so actually VGS is equals to the signal okay so this voltage here VGS is equals to the signal because there is no current flowing through the gate now if we look at this part here of the circuit right we know that V out is actually equals to minus GM VGS that's the current that's flowing here right and because RD and RL are in parallel V out is actually the voltage across this parallel of RD and RL so V out is actually the current so the total current so part of this GM VGS flows here part of this v GM VGS flows here and then they add together at this node here to form GM VGS here forced by this current source right so we have minus GM VGS which is the current times the equivalent resistance which is RD in parallel with our load and because we know that VGS in this case is actually equals to the v, v signal we can isolate V out over V signal here and that's equals to minus GM and if we expand this parallel here is RD times R L divided by R D plus R L right and this is actually the overall voltage gain so the overall voltage gain is equals to minus and then we have two milliamperes per volts for GM times 10 K times 10 K divided by 20 K that's actually 5k right because we have both resistance the same so it's just half of the resistance so the overall voltage gain is minus 2 milliamps per volts times 5k ohms and this gives us an overall voltage gain of minus 10 volts per volt and that's it for this problem